Howdy, my name is Cloudy. Welcome back to the channel, you know what I'm saying? Today we got a video from Did You Know? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be doing a lot more of his videos in the summer because his videos have a lot to do with like just random things going on in the world, you know what I'm saying? I kind of like that. It kind of keeps me updated on what's happening, you know what I'm saying? So today we got a video about a man who builds a nuclear reactor in the backyard to power a home. And the FBI steps in. The FBI steps, the FBI don't just step in on anything, bro. The FBI step in when there's something real crazy happening. So you know this, he did something. You gotta be real smart to build a nuclear reactor in your backyard to power your home. You know what I'm saying? So. Josiah felt his pulse racing. He knew exactly why the officer was in his house. Did he know about his secret? Did he know about what he had raised from the waters 27 years ago? He felt backed into a corner that he couldn't get out of. But before he could act on any of his impulses, the officer opened his mouth and said something that he could never have expected. Before we start, can we get this video to 1,000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Jizza Wilfred was an ordinary man. He lived alone by choice. Most people needed so... Hold on, y'all. Yep, I'm pausing it so I can find the other one. Why my shit not close and all that stuff? Yep, sorry y'all, I had to pause it, man. Come on, man. Okay, I thought I stopped recording. I'm looking for a lighter. Alright, I had a lighter behind my damn camera, bro. Bear with me, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Your boys are lifted. Alright, y'all ready? I'm ready, let's go. Cool interaction, but Jzip, the go like back. button, and right. subscribe to the channel. Jizza Wilfred was an ordinary man. He lived alone by choice. Most people needed social interaction, but Jizza preferred to keep to himself. He liked the small things in life that made the difference. He had the same old routine. As a retired man, he would wake up every morning, take his dog for a walk, and work on one of the many projects that he kept in his shed. But one of them would catch the eye of the FBI. Jizza had worked as an engineer for 30 years. Oh, okay, wait. Just before he retired at the age of 55. <coughs> the now 60-year-old was enjoying the retired life and enjoyed tinkering with anything he could get his hands on. He felt confident that he knew what he was doing when he worked on projects. <coughs> I'm not going to lie, <coughs> bro. When I was a kid, I used to love building stuff, like, a lot. Like, I love putting stuff together. And then when I put it together, I love seeing how it worked or how... Um, it functioned or whatever, you know what I'm saying? What it looked like after I finished. That's why I like games like Minecraft, I kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm building. I, I I like the building aspect of stuff. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't want to build nothing like a building or a skyscraper. I'm just talking about something small, like build a, com build a computer or or build a, 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 build a TV, you know what I'm saying? Type stuff. Like, I don't know. It's... It was fun to me when I was a kid, but now I'm just like, bro, fix that shit for me, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was one of the sometimes. best and brightest engineers before he retired. But one of his projects took things too far. When Jizzit was younger, a hobby besides tinkering was diving. He got his diving permit at a young age and would always chase the idea of finding something special. Then he heard about a tip just off the coast of Georgia. He decided to investigate the rumors about what was buried in the waters. But when he geared up and mm. dove into the water, he had no idea how true they were. Isha geared up and dove into the cold waters of Wausau Sound. He dove down deep into the waters and looked around. After a while, without seeing anything, he was close to giving up. But just as he was ready to swim back to the surface, he saw something man-made half buried on the seafloor. He couldn't believe what he was looking at. He knew it would be his greatest challenge in pro- Bro, what if that was an explosive device, bro? You know what I'm saying? You know how, you know how 
lately we've been finding like freaking missiles and rockets and stuff inside the water, bro. Like, what if that was one of those and he just cut open to it, bro? And most of them still be like prepared to detonate and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and you too, I'm sorry if I can't say these certain words, you know what I'm saying? Because I know the world's a little sensitive or whatever. Please excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Project. Jizah knew a few people who could help him. Without alerting the authorities, he raised the metal object from the shallow waters under cover of night and loaded it into his truck. He managed to get it back to his home, where he could get a better look at it. He couldn't believe his luck, he knew it was dangerous, but he liked the challenge it afforded him. But he had no idea who would knock on his door 27 years later. The object that he had fished out of the water afforded him free electricity for the last 27 years. He Dang. smiled in satisfaction, knowing that very few people could have hooked up the device safely. Oh, my boy was dick, bro. My boy was finessing the electricity bills, bro. He was finessing Edison in them. Lead the way he had. Most people would have alerted the authorities and let the government take it away. But he found it fair and square, and he would benefit from it rather than anyone else. Wait, is the electric company called Edison? Was it called something else? He knew if anyone found out about where his power came from, he could be gone in. So he had kept his project in his shed. No one ever went in there, Damn. and he almost never had guests, so it worked out. Now at Free the age of 60, Josiah thought he had gotten away with it. But he had no idea that his actions would have consequences, and he'd get a surprise visit from an unexpected visitor. One day, Josiah woke up and got into his usual routine. He put on a pot of coffee, got dressed, and took his dog out for a walk. He normally took him around the neighborhood for an hour. It was one of the one things he loved, but he had no idea at that moment that his past was catching up with him. When he got back to his house, he barely had a moment to sit down before he heard a knock on his door. Josiah didn't often have guests, so he knew that it would be trouble. He prepared himself and opened his door a crack. It was a police officer. The officer said, Morning, sir. Could I ask you a few questions? Despite what he had done, Jiza respected law enforcement officers. Of course, officer. But he had no idea what the man had up his sleeve. Josiah felt his pulse racing. He knew exactly why the officer was in his house. Did he know about his secret? Did he know about what he had raised from the waters 27 years ago? He fell back into a corner that... Bro, had free electricity for 27 years, bro. He was finessing the government out of an electricity bill, bro. And that has to be answered, bro, because, bro, I'm telling you, bro, if I'm his neighbor, I would have been mad if I found out, bro, had free electricity and he didn't even share none with the squad, bro, on the block. Bro, I would have, man, <laughs> bro, I would have been so angry, bro. I would have been like, bro, lock him up, bro, because... How he just get, bro, and y'all, bro, if they let him free, bro, if I'm his neighbor, because I'm not his neighbor, so technically for me, I'm actually glad of what he did, bro, finesse the electricity bill of a lifetime, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, bro, if I was the neighbor, bro, I would have been get pissed. Out of. But before he could act on any I of his impulses, pissed. the officer opened his mouth and said something that he could never have expected. The officer asked, sir, are you in possession of any government property? Josiah knew that the jig was up. He knew that the only way to get out of it was to come clean. He confessed what he had. Oh, the officer's eyes grew wide. It was clear that he didn't want to believe what he had. It was above his pay grade. He had to call in the big guns. After an hour, the house was surrounded by the FBI. They searched his property and found the secret that he had been keeping for so many years. It was an undetonated bomb. To be exact, it was bro i told you bro bro so how what a nuclear bomb from the 60s the bomb was on board a military aircraft after it started having engine trouble i told you this what happens bro they just be fun in into the shallow waters of wasaw sound bro that makes the, the ocean even more scary bro this is why we shouldn't even go in the ocean bro there's monsters down there and fishes and mermaids and stuff and you got bombs down there, bro. Like, bro, 
it, bro, from 80 years ago. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no telling how many is in there either. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the ocean is just dangerous. You know what I'm saying? And then, bro, brought it back home. Why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? What if you forgot it was there? What if you turned your car on next to the... Man, this dude is crazy. Military bro. made the call to try and recover the bomb for the next two months after it was dropped. It seemed that, that it wasn't crazy. on their side, and it became the last nuclear bomb that the military ever lost. It seems that Jija was both lucky and unlucky to find the bomb when the military couldn't. What he thought was True. his right to find was something that the government thought differently about. They would raid Jija's house and get an expert team to remove the bomb from his property. They took it away and presumably dismantled it. But what happened to Jiza? Yeah, there have been real. no reports on whether or not Jiza had to pay a fine or faced any consequences of any bro, kind. Bro, what? Normally, bro, as a neighbor, I would have been pissed. <laughs> oh, my bro got free electricity for 27 years. And I'm sitting here with, with I had to pay the bill, and I'm sitting next to a bomb, bro. That was made 60 years ago, bro. It could go off at any moment. I'm putting my life at risk, and he ain't tell nobody on the block what he had. And he just, bro, it could have destroyed the whole block, bro. All my kids, the animals, bro. I would have been mad, bro. I was like, bro, you got to give us, like, at least pay the whole block at least, like, five to ten. Because, y'all, it was all in the vicinity of a, bro. They could have lost their lives at any second. And this old an old man, by the way, ain't no young man that can quickly do stuff. It's an old man. You know what I'm saying? He could probably still get around, but not as fast as he could if he was 19, 20, 25. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Nah, bro. Bro. It ha something has to happen to bro, bro. It, it, it's That's messed up. He, bro. He finessed the electricity bill for 27 years and he had a bomb. A nuclear one at that, bro. It wasn't no regular one, bro. That was something you... What?